about the seven seas as the child care capital of the deep. And Sharky's nephew, Wally, is a real info. Sharky, give it a rest. It's the only way to get him to sleep. What you playing, the lament of the dying foghorn? Make fun of my tuba, will ya? This instrument was instrumental in saving the world. Tell us how, Uncle Sharky. Have you never asked yourself, how is it that though we live mega fathoms below the surface of the sea, we can see the stars? Stars and tubas, this is gonna be good. Starfish Serenade. <laughs> It all started on a night just like this one, a midsummer night when the tides are at their highest. A herd of winkles grazed serenely on the seabed under McWart's watchful eye. <laughs> Someone tickled me. Ah, there's the tickle out. George and I knew nothing about this because we were on vacation in Las Anemones. Oh, mercy, hell! Huh? Huh? Sharky George, it's terrible! Huh? Huh? <laughs> Wanna tell me what's going on? Starfish attack! Better run for it! Did he say starfish attack? Saddle up, boys. Form a posse. No. Wow. Oh, this could well be crustacean's last stand. Yeah. All over Los Angeles, brave and hardy fish left to the task of barricading the town. Move it. Move it. Cowfish, hold your fire! Just as I thought! They're heading for the plankton mine. Let's go, George. Do we have to? Hop aboard, pal. I didn't know what had George so spooked. I hadn't yet met a starfish who could startle me. <laughs> now I am. Uh -huh. Looks like them varmints is on the run. We were safe. But are Sharky and George? We could shake them. Wow. 
I'm sure you can explain. Yep. <laughs> you say these harmless creatures turn big and mean down in the plankton mines? The fascinating hypothesis. Let's put it to the test. Humpy, bring that plankton here. <laughs> Give it to the starfish. <laughs> Proof enough for ya? By Pythagoras, it's amazing. Wait till the Academy gets a deal for like this. The greatest discovery since disposable water filters. Shouldn't we save Chicago first? He got that right. We must find some way to neutralize them, but I can't think how for the life of me. Lock him up! Yeah, we'll lock him up in the Hesperus. Get ready to swim for it. I am not yet entirely convinced. Let us experiment further. I'm bring one of those creatures over here. We're finally within sight of the wreck of the Hesperus. Sharky, you think they're gone? I don't know. Somehow I doubt it. The sneaky little devils had already caught on to another fact. For deposit, please cast this for me. That the biggest plankton reserves of all were to be found at the Grand Bank of Chicago. Chucky, wake up! For the moment, we were safe, but back at Dr. Eagles, things weren't going so smoothly. Ah! No, oh, Humpy! Mm -hmm. Stop feeling like to the starfish! Now get away from there! Uh, huh? I see it, but I don't believe it. Music! Music tames the savage little beasts! <laughs> sudden. Not that I'm not pleased. Sharky, George, uh -huh. come out. It's all over. Huh? Is it really true, Dr. Eel? Are they gone? From here, yes, but back in Chicago, the situation is completely out of thin. And it wasn't a pretty sight. The lone starfish who had escaped from Dr. Eel headed straight to the bank for a plankton pig out. As a consequence, it had gone forth and multiplied. Chicago would turn into a giant squishy starfish swamp if it weren't for Dr. Jake Eel. Science! 
has provided us with a solution. up into the oceany sky, music had calmed their nasty natures and made them sparkle with sweetness and light. And so, Wally, this time every year, Chicago pays homage to their beauty by holding the Great High Seas Music Festival. <gasps> you tell a good story, Shocky. What do you think of that, young Wally? For once, it looks like you left him speechless. <laughs> <laughs>